Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be continuing into part 4 of what if Broly was King Vegeta's son. If you haven't seen part 3, there is a title card where you can go check it out and see what happened in the last part. But today, we'll be going into the Android Saga. It's kind of hard to title a saga when I'm going to go through three different stories here. What would the different groups have done during these years? Will Vegeta ever find his brother? Will the Saiyans ever meet up again? Also, I own a Discord server for anyone who wants to join and talk more about Dragon Ball with me and other viewers. Maybe give out some of your own ideas of what ifs, and maybe in the future, I could do them. Check the link in the description down below. Today's question of the video is from Emmanuel Bernson. If you had a technique, what would it be? And... Can you continue what if Goku was in My Hero Academia? So the first question, I would say easily instant transmission as then I wouldn't need a car and I wouldn't have to pay for gas and gas is expensive these days. So yeah, that just seems like the best technique to have in real life because then I could just travel anywhere without having to do plane tickets or gas or anything. I'd just be saving a lot of money and it's just very useful. And for the second question, I will be continuing it. It's not gonna be abandoned, I promise. Same thing with the other, um, the Dragon Ball Next Generation I've also worked on. It's just, I haven't gotten really time to work on it. I've just really been focusing on these what is, and then I also have to focus on a future project that will be out soon of what if Wrathful Saiyan was in Dragon Ball. But I promise you, I will be continuing those series soon in the future, hopefully. Thank you for the comment. If you want your comment to be featured in the next video, just comment down a question you would like me to answer, and maybe your comment will be featured in my next video. Without further ado, let's dive into part 4 of what if Broly was King Vegeta's son. After defeating Frieza and splitting up the Saiyans into three different groups, starting off with the more known group, Goku and Raditz. Once they returned to Earth, Goku would help Raditz sail in with the Z Fighters. Kami would be brought back to life alongside Piccolo. Raditz would apologize to Kami for what he did, as it was hard for him to forgive him, but Piccolo wanted his revenge even more, but once he sensed how strong both of them are, he would need to start training intensely to try to catch up to them. The other Z Fighters have been training ever since Goku left, as they didn't want to be in another situation where they were too weak to do anything against future threats. While Goku was gone, Yamcha, Tien, Krillin, and Chiaotzu were training up on the lookout. They didn't grow immensely, but once Goku and Raditz returned, they would join with them and greatly help the others to grow stronger. And even had Gohan join from time to time, even though Chi Chi did not like it. But the two Saiyans saw how much potential Gohan had, and would like for him to train more and more, but also allow him to continue to study. Gohan would train and spar, but would see it as a hobby rather than something he would have to do. We skip over to two years as nothing would happen. No Frieza returning and no Time Traveler. However, during the years, Goku and Raditz obtained the Super Saiyan transformation and also Raditz would have settled down with Bulma as they would have their first son, Trunks. Not make the continuity too confusing, we're just gonna keep him as Trunks, just, you know, Raditz as his dad, so just, yeah. Even though things seemed nice for now, Sadly, Goku would still fall to the hard virus and pass away. The Z Fighters would continue to train together and would get a motivational boost with the loss of Goku. Piccolo would eventually join them as growing by himself hasn't helped as currently he was the weakest one in the group. And then the Androids would attack as normal. Even though the Z Fighters did train the three years together, they stood no chance against the Androids as most of them died besides Raditz as he managed to escape. As he wasn't as prideful as the other Saiyans, as he knew when to flee the fight. Barely alive, he would end up going to the Sun family house, as Chi Chi would see him pass out in front of them. Seeing and hearing what had happened to his friends and uncle, this is when Gohan would fully decide to become a fighter, as he would train with his uncle to become a fighter to protect the planet. They would mainly remain at the lookout when training. Bulma would also have left the planet in search of Namek, since there was no new Namek as Namek was never destroyed, and Raditz did come from Namek so he would have known where to tell Bulma to go, and Trunks would just stay with his aunt Chi Chi. While on the lookout, Mr. Popo would tell Raditz and Gohan about the time chamber, as they would enter the train up, and after a day, they would come out with Gohan knowing Super Saiyan, and would wear a gi similar to his father, as he would want to honor him. They would spend some extra days training up, and once they felt ready, they would go face the androids, with each of them fighting one android. It would be a hard fight as they were on par with the androids, but were only on the losing side because of the fact that they have infinite stamina, and Gohan would struggle as this is his first time in a real fight. Soon Raditz would be losing and getting beat up pretty badly, as Gohan could only watch, as Seventeen would kill Raditz. This would unleash Gohan's rage, as he taps into the Super Saiyan 2 form. With this, 
he would easily destroy the androids without much trouble. Still, he is saddened by the fact that his uncle had died, but then suddenly sees the wound on Radis' heels, and the ruined city that they were in returns to normal, as Gohan would also sense all his dead friend's key. Bulma managed to make it to Namek and wished for everyone who had died to the androids to be brought back to life, and have the planet be restored, and also she would be teleported to Earth by Vegeta. Everyone would celebrate over their win and are impressed with Gohan's power. This would further drill the fact that Gohan would continue his training as he wants to take over as Earth's protector, but still continues with his studies. Over to Broly and Nappa, after the defeat of Frieza, they would go visit many Frieza planets to destroy his army one by one. Broly would also work on trying to control his form that he had obtained when he fought Frieza, and eventually would learn to control the form. And with watching Broly with the form, Nappa would also obtain the Akari form. Eventually they would be faced with King Cold as Broly would tell him that he was the one to kill his son, as this would anger King Cold, as a clash would begin. Meanwhile, Nappa was taking care of Cold's army. Broly in base was weaker than Cold, but his power level would continue to grow. He would give Cold the false sense that he would win, until Broly transformed into his Akari form and would easily overpower Cold. He would play with him as Cold was nowhere near strong enough to stop Broly. Broly even pointed out how Nappa could have easily defeated Cold, as then he would shoot a Key Blast, piercing King Cold and ending his life. In the first two years, they both took out the entire Frieza force. Nappa would ask what would be next for them, as Broly would want to continue to train as he did want to face Vegeta once again. Nappa was still confused on who he should have followed as Vegeta was the true prince by blood, but he spent most of his life with Broly as the prince, so the title was a bit up in the air currently. They would land on a planet and begin training. Nappa would struggle with keeping up with Broly with his insane potential, as most of the time it would be Nappa who would be growing in strength. A year would pass on when they are met with a visitor, as they both stand guard as the visitor being Jocko, a member of the Galactic Patrol. Jocko was here to recruit the two Saiyans after learning that they took out the entire Frieza force. Nappa was actually intrigued in joining as he wanted to do something with his life as he only had so many years left before he lost his prime body. Broly on the other hand wasn't too keen on joining as he only wanted to grow stronger. Jocko said that they could help him grow stronger and hearing that, Broly would leave with both Jocko and Nappa to the Galactic Patrol HQ. For the two years, Nappa and Broly would venture in space fighting many space criminals as they would grow stronger as well. In the two years of them being with the Galactic Patrol, they did obtain the Super Saiyan form and Broly, already knowing how to control himself, would be able to tap into his form without losing control. However, in the end of the second year, staying with the Galactic Patrol, Broly and Nappa would part ways, saying their goodbyes as Broly would leave to go look for Vegeta for his remake, while Nappa stayed as he is a Galactic Patrol member. With Vegeta during his two years after the defeat of Frieza, he spent his time exploring many planets in search for his brother, but had no luck. He was also lacking on his training as he cared more about finding his brother. He would end up landing on a planet called Yardrat. He would go around asking about his brother, but again, no luck. He was preparing to leave until he sent some of Frieza's men knowing they would only cause trouble for this planet. He would go over there to stop them. The Frieza soldiers would cause trouble as they would begin destroying buildings, but before they could cause much damage, Vegeta would arrive, saving the people of Yardrat and defeating the soldiers very easily. This act would catch the attention of Elder Paibara, as he would offer to train Vegeta as a thank you for caring for their people. Vegeta would be unsure as he wanted to continue to look for his brother, but he stayed as he did need to train since he stopped for a whole two years. He would then stay and train under the Yardrat. He would stay for over more than just a year, as he would learn the instant transmission, force spirit fission, healing, cloning, and gigantification. He would thank the Yardrat for taking him in and teaching him the various techniques as he would continue on his search for his brother. Some months would pass as Vegeta would travel to more planets until he would land on a planet and would ask around for Tarbol, as he is met with a small woman saying he knows Tarbol as he is her husband, as she would introduce herself as Gur. Hearing that his younger brother is married shocked him as she would bring him to Tarbol. Once they would meet, Tarbol would ask Vegeta why is he looking for him. Vegeta stands there as he struggles to speak, but he would just hug his younger brother as he told him about their past and how they are related. This is a lot for him to take in, but their reunion would be cut short as two enemies came looking for Tarbol, that being Abo and his brother Kado. See how they are threatening his brother? Vegeta stepped up, preparing to fight them alone, but Tarbo would join in. He wasn't a fighter, but he wasn't gonna let his older brother fight alone. Together, they would begin fighting the other brothers. Vegeta would be handling Abo, having the edge on the battle, 
only slightly because of his use of instant transmission, but Tarbo would be losing badly. Seeing his brother in trouble, he would tap into his perfected Super Saiyan form, as in Vegeta would be handling the two on his own, until they decided to fuse into Akka, and that is when Vegeta is starting to lose. They would begin to laugh at Vegeta, saying there is no way he could beat them now. Vegeta smirks as he begins to use his ability of Force Spirit Fission. Akka wasn't sure what he was doing until after some time the fusion was undone. To their confusion, they would try to fuse once again, but it wouldn't work as Vegeta explained what he did. They would try to fight Vegeta again, but that wouldn't work out as Vegeta is stronger when they aren't fused together. After defeating them, he spared them as there was no reason for him to kill them. Vegeta would heal Tarbo's wounds, and Tarbo was surprised to see how compassionate his brother was. Vegeta would spend some time with Tarbo and his wife, and Vegeta would end up offering if they would like to move with him to his home planet, where it's peaceful and full of caring people. Tarbo was unsure at first, but Gura was pushing him to do so, as this is his only family member. Vegeta would say that if they don't like it, he could easily teleport them back here. Vegeta with Tarbo and Gur would teleport from planet to planet, returning to Namek. Once they arrived, Vegeta would see Bomo recognizing her a bit as she would ask him for help with using the Dragon Balls. As he would do so, letting her use the Dragon Balls to make her wish and teleporting her back to Earth as we are matched up with the endings of everyone's story. And that's where I'm going to leave it off for now. Tell me how y'all think about the fourth part and how I did with the Android Saga. What does the future of the Z Fighters look like? What could have happened differently? Leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. If y'all are interested and enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post another part. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next part. See ya.